Joy Reid on MSNBC uh, wants you to know that if you want to have more babies, you are a fascist. I do believe that this election is a litmus test for American tolerance for fascism. The elements of fascism uh, are rooted in this nationalistic drive for more babies for the state, for a strong man driven uh, nation, um, and a deep sort of state based religiosity. So I do believe we have a media problem and we do have some of our media that is leading people toward fascism. The question of America has become too soft and feminine. Um, I think that is a it's a fascist litmus test. Um, so this question of whether the society is too soft and feminine, um, it was alarming to me that a majority of Hispanic pro uh, Protestants agree, but that's not shocking. The immigrants are poisoning the blood of the country. This is one of the most terrifying um, yeah. things that you've heard a presidential candidate say because it is straight out of Mein Kampf. Twenty-three percent of Jewish respondents agree with that because that's straight out Nazi talk. So all this talk about how we should have a border, that's straight out of Mein Kampf. That's out of Nazi propaganda. All this talk about how America is a little effeminate. Maybe we should have, you know, some manliness to it. That's also straight out of the Nazi playbook. And then if you want to have babies, if you think that we shouldn't have a literally dying population, but should at the very least maybe replace ourselves, if you think that, you know, we should do the thing that birds do and bees do and even sentimental trees do and, uh, you know, get together and get married and have a family, well, you're, you're a fascist. That means, I don't, if you've been keeping a score for the past five or 10 years, the OK symbol, that's now a, a Nazi symbol. And a glass of milk, that's now a Nazi symbol. And now your babies, they, are, they themselves are Nazi symbols. This rant clarified to me, almost all of our social problems come from the fact that people won't have babies anymore. Almost all of our social problems come from the fact that generations ago, people used to have six kids. That was a normal sized family seven, eight kids, maybe 10, 11 kids, if you were Catholic or Mormon, Orthodox Jews too. Then it became three or four kids. Then it became maybe two kids. Now millennials don't have kids. They have fur babies. They have, they have dogs, but they don't have kids. Now there's an antinatalist movement. I'm not just talking about people who struggle with infertility. Obviously they, they're, they're not culpable. They're not, they're doing everything they can talking about the people who are actively choosing not to have kids, which is a lot of people. It's the people who are listening to Joy Reid who say, you want to have kids, you're a, you're a Nazi. Go to hallow.com slash Knowles. I have to tell you about the exciting stuff going on at Hallow, the number one Christian prayer and meditation app. They have thousands of prayers, meditations, resources, and incredible spiritual leaders. But now they're starting a new prayer challenge that will be terrific. You've all probably heard me refer to C.S. Lewis on the show. Well, Hallow is starting a prayer series on C.S. Lewis's most popular book, Mere Christianity. This book is such a great introduction to and defense of the Christian faith. It is insightful and deep, yet so clear, simple, and easy to understand. Every day, the series will go through a passage, reflect on it, and then enter into a time of prayer. I have not even told you the best part yet. The British survival expert and TV star, Bear Grylls will be one of the guides. You definitely need a British guide to narrate C.S. Lewis. He's perfect for it. He will be joined by my friend and Catholic podcaster, Matt Frad, and Father Gregory Pine. You won't want to miss it. Plus, Hallow has some great content for Election Week to help us keep our sanity. I'm sure we're going to need it. Download Hallow for three months free at hallow.com slash Knowles, Canada WLES. That is hallow.com slash Knowles. Download the app for free. Join the challenge at hallow.com slash Knowles. Hallow.com slash Knowles for an exclusive three-month free trial of all 10,000 plus prayers and meditations. Why do all the problems stem from this? Because if you don't have kids, then you're gonna have economic problems. If your generations don't replace themselves, then uh, pretty, pretty quickly you're gonna have a problem with GDP. You're gonna have a problem with productivity, which leads you to import a ton of migrants from all over the world. You import all these migrants, the movement of migrants into the United States in the last 60 years, the greatest movement of people in the history of, of all of recorded history, that's gonna create some social problems because there's no assimilation. There's no, uh, uh, you're just importing a, a whole new peoples into the country. 
Then you add on to that the perpetual adolescence of people who don't want to, who just simply do not want to have children. That perpetual adolescence is going to mean that that uh, millennials and soon enough Zoomers are, are going to be marveled when they when they do things like adulting, you know, when they like pay their bills <laughs> or I don't know, go to the grocery store on their own. They're going to be slow to do the things that your grandparents were doing at age 14 because having kids makes you grow up. It's, it's one of the clearest ways to mature that, that is available to us. When people don't have kids, what are they going to do? They're going to spend more time screaming and rioting and protesting and, and agitating in the street. They're going to spend more time in the vice industries. They're going to drink more. They're going to do more drugs. They're going to do more weird stuff. They're going to, you know, idle hands are the devil's playground. Virtually all of the social problems, I'm not saying every single one, but virtually all of them are coming from the fact that people will not have kids anymore. I, I'm, I am not the one who is observing that that is a political problem. I, I am also doing that, but Joy Reid is doing it. The left is doing that. The antinatalists, the people who say, don't have kids because kids are bad for global warming. The people who say, don't have kids because then you won't be able to have as much fun. The people who say, don't have kids because you should, you should use contraception when you sleep around and you shouldn't get married anyway. You should just go and have a string of pointless relationships. That's the left that is politicizing the issue. They're politicizing the family because the family is the basic unit of politics. It is politicized. They recognize the political significance of it. So which side are you on? The side that says babies are nice or the side that says having babies is for fascists? That was a great clip. Now hold up, ring the bell, subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel, and we will see you next time.